I, I, I rode a BMW motorcycle and I rode through the traffic on the highways and city streets and I rode fast some places. I, I'd top my motorcycle out going 140 miles an hour. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I, I just did it. That was bad judgment, wasn't it, Richard? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would say it was. <laughs> Unless you're on track, you know. <laughs> Once I was doing it in Houston on their high occupancy vehicle lane. I was topping out my BMW Ooh. going 140. <laughs> And, is, uh, <laughs> is that when one of those cops pulled you over? <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was so crazy, he let me go. But, uh, <laughs> but another place, I was going between the traffic in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And, uh, mm. and a cop, a van, uh, a cop van, you know, started pursuing me with her lights on, and I, and I was thinking, how can that van catch me? And so I kept going. And uh, I won't go into all the details here, but I was arrested, and uh, <laughs> and roughed up. They, yeah. <laughs> uh, you you try to walk a line when you have, and you're excited and scared, and you have Wilson's ease. You can, you can't walk a straight line. And then they want you to do the finger to the nose, and you can't do that either. Yeah. And and so the cops automatically think you're drunk. Or high on something. Yeah. And your speech gets a little slurred. But uh, they take people to the hospital to get blood tests no matter what these days. And that clears you? No, because... <laughs> They uh, added resist, resisting arrest, dangerous behavior. Oh. Uh, there was five things. I can't remember. Non-compliance. non -compl uh, <laughs> Resisting. <laughs> and I went to jail. And I've been in jail five different times for poor behavior, basically. And I, won't, I shouldn't get into every single one of them. But... The one in Pittsburgh was the worst of all. Because <laughs> you were there and you didn't know anybody who to call there. or anything like that. Uh, once I got a, in a little bit of road rage. This is kind of a funny t story. I got in a little bit of <laughs> road rage trying to reach an exit before another car that was on my left side trying to reach the same exit. I didn't want to let that, that car <laughs> beat me to the exit. Now that's a fairly common phenomenon in our society, so that you can't really say is inappropriate. So what happened? <laughs> well, I pulled into the uh, Subway sandwich that I was going to, and this uh, Mustang, I think, pulls up beside me. He's in plain clothes, and he's a off-duty police officer. Oh, uh, okay. So be careful, off-duty police officers <laughs> <laughs> can get you if you if you make <laughs> did you, get you do the wrong thing so he called his buddies in there and uh and I couldn't walk a straight line oh. I couldn't do this either <laughs> and so I, so they arrested me took me to the hospital and took me to jail now in that case uh you go to the courthouse and talk to the district attorney and try to get a pretrial hearing but in that, I won't go into our legal system. It's that's another subject. I could talk about it <laughs> okay. if you wanted me to. <laughs> but uh, I had a prescribed uh, painkiller. Okay, a drug. <laughs> <laughs> a drug, and and so I had a painkiller. A doctor, you know, and you're supposed to be careful. I mean, on the drug package, it says be careful how you drive with this. But because I did have a drug on board, they could say intoxication. Oh, uh, okay. And in that case, I pleaded no contest because that's basically what you have to do. Okay. But now I have a, dri a you know, a driving under the influence charge on my record. But oh, and that brings up another little funny. Not so funny, <laughs> but the reason I had a pain pill 
was because I had got my side. You remember that story? Yes, I do. Yeah. This is another poor judgment. You're I had 50 acres in uh, Nacogdoches, Texas, and I was trying to clear the acreage so I could plant some pine trees out there. And I wanted to use uh, fire to, uh, to clean a lot of it, and so I set my field on fire. And I was in control. I kept a fire line, and you know, it was burning. But before you know it, the volunteer fire department comes and starts putting it out. I didn't want that to happen. I, I was in control. And you got and burned. No. Huh. The next weekend, I started the same thing. I wanted to get it done. You know, bad judgment, right? Okay. And so the volunteer fire department comes out again. You know, I didn't want them to come, but but they came out again. All right. So I don't think anyone said, "Don't do this again. You'll be arrested." Uh, it, they just put it out and just kind of frowned at me, maybe. So the third weekend, the the very next week, the th this would be the third weekend. I wanted to do it again. Now, on this weekend, as I was trying to keep a fire line, uh, I got too close to a fire. And uh, maybe this has something to do with Wilson's disease. But I thought to myself, I wasn't like in the fire. The fire was still maybe 10 feet away from me. A big fire, growing the grass, was basically all grass. And uh, I got myself a big, they say, 10% total body surface area burn on my side. Just from being too close to the fire, keeping a fire line. I couldn't believe that. My skin was kind of just scalded. It didn't have the typical burn with the blisters and, and uh, it was just baked. And uh, I passed out. And uh, I must have had a seizure. Uh, I didn't, that's one of the symptoms. I'll get into that. Well, I've I've talked about uh, some of them, but this is a worse. Uh, I know I'm getting confused, confused, but I. <laughs> oh, you're doing all right. right. <laughs> uh, but these these behaviors illustrate, you know, what's going on with the poor judgment. And, and you had uh, a skin graft. I got a. Skin graft, right. And that's the reason you had the drugs for your pain. Right. Okay. So in that case, now you might want to call this bad judgment. In that case, uh, the EMS people came out in addition to the volunteer fire department. And so the EMS people wanted to call a helicopter to fly me to oh, Houston. Oh. I couldn't believe that. I said, look, this is not in danger of anything. That could be because I'm a doctor. I said, look, I'm just going to go to the surgeon as, as soon as his office is open. And they were looking at me. They said, no, you got to go to Houston. We're going to call the helicopter. I said, look, I don't want a helicopter. That's crazy. <laughs> But uh, I don't know if that was good judgment or bad judgment. I think that was well, good judgment. Well, you're the doctor. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even hurt. But, uh, but let me talk about another symptom I have. I've talked about the tremor and uh, the walking is bad. And sometimes I can hear my own kind of slurred speech. It doesn't, it's not as clear as it should be. It's still pretty good, but uh, we can have seizures. We start having seizures, and uh, they're they're not always the grand mal kind. But in my case, I used to just pass out. I had a little warning, a little aura they call it, and I'd pass out. Not every time. Sometimes I'd have an aura, and I wouldn't pass out. 
and I was prescribed anti-seizure medicines but I didn't take them because they all kind of they, they all kind of uh, depressed your mental you know I always made you sleepy and you, they couldn't, don't you couldn't take the tests as well because your brain wasn't thinking and right now I've got an anti-seizure on board my brain so I'm not as clear here talking as I could have been back in my junior year in high school so forgive me uh, but in my case this the seizures unfortunately got worse uh, and I didn't believe that was gonna happen I used to just wake up after a seizure and just go about my business but uh, I guess I was at my last job and I guess I was about 39 uh, somehow these seizures uh, developed into grand mall seizures I was, an observer saw me do, doing that and uh, I'd still wake up after five minutes or ten minutes I'd, I'd feel great I'd go right back to work and so I still didn't want to take my anti-seizure medicines. I said, hey, I don't need that. But about every two months, I would have one. And don't ask me why. It's just uh, some people have worse seizures than other people. But uh, anyway, I'd still wake up and I'd feel, you know, nothing happened. But when I had that at my last full-time job as a pathologist, it was everyone accepted the fact that I probably shouldn't be practicing medicine. So you so they, you went to onto retirement, medical retirement. Right. And fortunately, uh, the place where I worked had a... Uh, we're kind of jumping to other topics, but we'll get back to it. Uh, but getting back to uh, the Wilson's disease and some of these uh, crazy poor judgment Episodes. Episodes. <laughs> because they, they are pretty funny. Uh, let me think. Oh, once I was, uh, and this was also at my last job, I was swimming. Richard, you better not cut this out. Okay. <laughs> right. I was swimming. I like to swim. And uh, the 25-yard the pools, my new swimming laps, I always did that. And I usually would do it at lunchtime at work. I'd take an hour off. It all depended on where I was living. But in Kansas City where I was last working, I was swimming laps. And right maybe two lanes over there was probably four or five women in their swimsuits and their I could see their legs. They were talking to each other. And I thought with my goggles on, you can see fairly clearly under the water. <laughs> and so I thought at the, my end of the pool that I have a right to rest. But I was ducking under the water and I was looking over there. I was enjoying it. And, <laughs> and they, they figured out what I was doing, so... I think they called the guard over and the guard told me to quit doing that. And that also went to my boss at work. Uh, but that was kind of embarrassing. Well, I won't cut that. <laughs> but, you didn't, but you didn't do anything. No, I didn't do anything. You looked. You I looked. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you peeked underwater. Uh, That's a new crime, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, at a couple of jobs, I was accused of sexual harassment. And, uh, you know, the, I will admit, I asked a woman at work for her phone number. And so that's probably sexual harassment, making a fellow woman feel uncomfortable. And uh, I brought some paintings in my uh, office that I paint. We should we should have a painting. Uh I do kind of modern art, but I had paintings in my office at work, and uh, one of the pathology residents wanted to see my paintings, so uh, I let her in my office. This is a girl. This is the lady, and, right? Okay. 
and I was just smiling and I I guess the problem was I was standing in the doorway to my office while she was looking at my paintings okay and a man cannot stand in the doorway blocking off his office <laughs> blocking yeah blocking <laughs> yeah I wasn't aware of that that was I don't think that was inappropriate. That was just I didn't know that we weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> and, Crazy. And, and so she she got she complained about sexual harassment. What, now was there anything in the paintings that she didn't like? <laughs> there might have been. Now she asked to she asked to be in your right. office. Oh. But I'm not supposed to block. Okay. All the right. Door. So any man, you better learn that. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, and I said a four-letter word to one woman, and I got fired for that. Oh. oh. So don't <laughs> say any four-letter words to a woman <laughs> at work. Uh, now, good. that might have been poor judgment. That's I good. guess it was, but that was just also, you know, just a typical male <laughs> ignorant. Well, that's good advice. Yeah, good advice. <laughs> Let me think of another. Uh, well, you see, especially on that motorcycle, I really did some crazy things. Well, I should be dead now. Well, this is the first time I've heard of the 140 miles an hour down the highway. <laughs> <laughs> How come you haven't told me that before? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, if I think, as we go on, if I think of something, I'll, okay. I'll just interject that. So now tell us how you were diagnosed. Well, it's not quite all with the, uh, I haven't quite told everything about the prefrontal cortex. Okay, okay. Uh, the, the bad judgment is definitely part of it. But just in general, impulsive behavior. Like if I see that's, if that's like something I want, like that in that cup, if that's like, well, what do I really like? I guess if that was strawberry daiquiri and Richard left, he went to the bathroom, I might reach <laughs> over there and, and have some. <laughs> that's kind of impulsive. I've done that multiple, multiple times. You just... You see something, and you want it, or you you do it. It's impulsive. You don't think ahead of time. You don't think what are the consequences of me doing that. You just say I want that, and you do it. That that's just in general, and uh, poor behavior. That's part of just bad. Ju they call it inappropriate behavior. That's the official name of the symptom inappropriate behavior and that kind of goes along with a poor judgment and uh, what I did on the highways was inappropriate but uh, that also just happens like in your college you, you do something uh, oh you uh, you might say something inappropriate just involving sex or you might say oh I, ooh, I like your Breasts, uh, or you do? You do <laughs> that would be inappropriate. <laughs> I tell, well, how I about tell you mean it. blouse, right? I like your blouse. <laughs> and I used to say, I used to tell a woman that you know she needed to lose weight, or uh, something like that, for health reasons. For health reasons. <laughs> This is probably not that unusual. Richard, but you better keep this in here. Uh, so when an old woman would come in for a breast exam, for instance, I, you know, who wants to do that? Most old women didn't come in for breast exams. The young women came in for breast exams. You know, a young woman is more concerned about breast cancer than an older woman. That, but. You know, I got to admit, I enjoyed giving breast exams. I think most doctors do. That's probably not that unusual. They're supposed, but, to, they're supposed to go into uh, professional mode, you know, <laughs> and leave all that out. <laughs> but, but that's just inappropriate behavior. Uh, just bad judgment and inappropriate. 
I'm tr trying to think. I probably have had more inappropriate behavior uh, than a lot, just my fellow Wilsons. I, I think my prefrontal lobe was probably more damaged than o other areas. But le let me get back into uh, the Wilsons. These I haven't quite covered. Oh, okay. I think I've covered the symptoms fairly well.